Almond in the morning. Common Sense Radio. 5.52. Good morning this morning. We'll follow up more on the Maryland case and the fallout from that. Also, an interesting complaint from parents regarding the tablet ban on certain flights coming from uh-huh. certain Middle Eastern countries. And they're complaining about, well, what are we going to do with our kids on a flight? <laughs> I'm thinking, well, you ever hear of a book? Or talk. Yeah, you yeah. could talk to or each talk other. To them. You could read a book. I mean, play unbelievable. A game. <laughs> Unreal, this this society of ours. <laughs> Todd Starnes, people. Reporter, Todd Starnes. Does that make me crazy? Well, I've been busy waxing my dinky. Does that make me crazy? Smoking pot from a bong. Does that make me crazy? You can get free hookers, just don't decorate them with Christmas ornaments. Oh. Usually what happens is if Todd Starnes is there, it's some kind of catastrophe. So, yeah, hey, I gotta down. we got to get some ribs or something. And if Todd Starnes is there, the event's going to sell out because that's exactly what happened with our April 6th Almond in the Evening Speaker Series featuring Todd Starnes at the Foundry Arts Center on Main Street in St. Charles. The event was in is free, but people had to register, and they did. We sold it out. Essentially, Todd's going to be there with his book signing. We are also going to be selling the Resist We Munch t-shirts. And ultimately, towards the closer to the date, we might just give a few slots away. We, we might be able to squeeze some folks in. Todd Starnes, welcome to the show, my friend. Well, thanks, Jamie. Y- yeah, I tried to register for the event online today, <laughs> and it was sold out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. <laughs> I know. Buddy... It's going to be awesome. We're so glad you're going to be joining us, and and thank you so much. It's going to be a great evening. That's Thursday, April 6th. Stay tuned for the possibility of us letting you, squeezing you in, that's for sure. And you know what we also need to do? I need to send you guys some books so that maybe you could give away a couple of books on the air, too. Oh, sure. That would be great. That we we'll be... sign those. We'll sign those at the uh, at the event. The deplor- this is going to be a lot of fun. Yes, indeed, We're, it's going to be great. We might have deplorable. We might just have some ribs. <laughs> the Deplorable's Guide to Making America Great Again is the book, of course. Hey, Todd, I'm wondering. I haven't heard from the Anne Frank Center for Mutual Studies and their complaint about a school lesson comparing Trump to Hitler. I haven't heard from them about that yet, but I'm sure we will. <laughs> You're not going <laughs> to. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, a, gr- a group of moms out in uh, New York State read my book, and one of the things I told them to do is if you see something really crazy in your kid's homework, give me a call. And uh, the, sure enough, one of them did. Uh, their kids were in a uh, class on uh, getting a lesson, a PowerPoint demonstration on fascism during World War II, and slide number three was an image of Donald Trump as Hitler, uh, and then uh, next to that was one portraying Donald Trump as Mussolini. So the parents were like, what, what in the hell does that have to do with World War II? And uh, they didn't get any answers from the school system, so they reached out to us, and, uh, and we did a story on this at uh, ToddSterns.com. Wow, it's a great story, too, because you point out that the graphics listed early warning signs of fascism. <laughs> 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 Rampant <laughs> sexism was one of them. That's right. It's uh, nationalism. So if you love old glory, that's a problem. That's fascism. If you're obsessed with national security or with crime and punishment, then you're also, uh, you, you could be on the, the, the slippery slope to fascism. You know, what's interesting, um, the, the moms, and so these moms organized a group, and they called themselves the Saratoga Conservative Chicks. I love it. And uh, they are really fired up because now all of these moms are getting together and comparing their, their own stories. And get this, so after our story ran, the local teachers' union went on TV there in Albany, New York, and, and went after the moms, and a teacher in the classroom said the real fascists are the moms who are complaining. Wow. What a crazy world. I'm telling you, buddy, this is, this is the Todd Starnes see something, say something policy. Well, look, absolutely, Jamie, and look, uh, uh, this is happening in public school classrooms all across the country, and I'm so glad that you let us talk about these issues on the radio because they're important, and people need to understand that their country is being radically changed 
in the public school classroom. And, and this lesson on Donald Trump suggesting he's Hitler is, is a great example of that. Well, and, you know, even as Saul Linsky mapped it out, you change things and you poison people's minds in the small ways, such as within the school system, and you do it gradually. And this is a great example of that that poisoning. So it's, it's amazing. So glad you pointed out. And we're so privileged to have you on the show with us, as always. And we're going to be really happy to see you on the 6th of April. And we're going to work something out, hopefully, where you're in studio here. But uh, we'll... Just just getting you to St. Charles and to the Foundry Arts Center is going to be amazing. It's the Almond Evening Speaker Series featuring Todd Starnes on the 6th of April. The event is sold out, but we will be giving away tickets. And now, thanks to Todd, a couple of books to you as we get closer to the event. Todd Starnes, great to see you, buddy. Talk to you. ToddStarnes.com, at Todd Starnes. Have a great rest of your week, brother. You too, Jamie.